Come on, come on, let's get it. Get in there. Oh no, oh no. Wait. Oh. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Oh, slow down, slow down. So, Alright, this is Rings of Saturn, or Delta V Rings of Saturn. This is a really cool little uh, space mining, like, Newtonian physics simulation game. So, the idea is you are mining. So, let's see what we got. Should be some water in here. Let's switch to my mining laser. All right, I got some H2O that's worth 1300 Eh, it's not much, but let's take it. So then you have to ugh, get them into your cargo hold, and this over here is showing my cargo hold. Now with the mouse buttons, right mouse, I have... You know, you have a, uh, like, pilot-assisted mode, where you can aim yourself wherever you want to go. Right mouse is kind of like drag velocity. But then you can combine those two, or just go full... Uh-oh, what's happening? I'm Terran Ocean. Um, I see no claim beacon, constant spleen. <laughs> constant spleen. Oh yeah, and I like the Catch My Drift Ringa. Kind of has that, that expanse. Uh, Belta Loda. The uh, Belter Creole. Y you catch me, my bar Baratna? Alright, so he's backing off. And then you also have all this in here where you can you know, try to be managing the, the wear of all your thrusters. You can disable those if you want. Like I have... There. Mass driver is like a laser cannon. And that guy's heading off. It's just, it's a really engrossing little game, though. I'm, I'm loving it. And then, so here you have your uh, kind of radar. We see that guy going off. Some things up there. This visual feed is showing, like, how far I am into the ring, because you're in the rings of Saturn. So that's kind of like I'm outside on the edge. I got my fuel... Yeah, I'm just... I, I really like it. So let's, uh... Looks like maybe there's some stuff over here. Yeah, maybe down here. Right where you can't see <laughs> through the controller. And then, like that, when I click... Like, when I target onto it, then I can drag the mouse around to... get me to that specific target. Which is useful for, like, matching velocity. Let's, uh, take down... Yeah, I just want to use my mining laser. I don't even know what that one was, but it came right into my cargo hold, so we got it.
Ooh, that's gonna be good. Yeah, 6,000. So like this, then I can drag forward. So cargo hold, you know, I've used... 23%, 20, yeah, like... See how much space you have left in the cargo hold. Let's get in there some more. Then we have afterburner thruster. Oh boy, I'm gonna wreck. I'm still kind of learning the rules of this here. Oof. What is that? B-E? Ber beryllium? Or, I, I don't remember my chemistry. Oh, here comes somebody else. Hopefully they're friendly. What is that big chunky boy? I'm oh, just asking if I need help. Let's, um, I'm not going to do this the whole time, so let's go back to the station so I can show you that stuff. So, then I will sell what I got. So I got 95,000. This is my crew that I hired. But for right now, like, we would want to go... So everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, I don't need to replace anything. And then you can go to tuning. And you can adjust autopilot thresholds, temperature target, so you can try to minimize overheating. The high stress hard. Let's out of the way. A high stress, that's like the uh, your main weapon housing. I have the mining laser. Left side, I have the... You know, what is this thing? It's not a laser. It's an iron projectile. For ice fracturing. I have the same thing on the right side. I've upgraded to the best power plant have the adaptive autopilot yeah there's it's just a really cool little game here then um 
So like on the crew, I have... My adrenal slowdown, that's like, um... That's kind of like bullet time focus whenever I was... My excavator was grabbing onto the rocks, so that's 32%. Yeah, obviously, you know, self-taught, so, Lynn, you know, Lynn is doing okay, but she's not breaking any records, <laughs> no experience, beginner, self-taught, I mean, I just, I had to go with cheap people at first, but that will also, like, improve the efficiency log of what I've been doing. There's going to be a dealer to buy other ships. I'm presuming that's what that'll be. But alright, let's go back out. Yeah, man. I mean, that's that's what it is. Oh, for the um, controller configuration, I, I went with the um, dual pad taps, so I have my strafing and my yaw on the left pad. Right pad, I have zoom up, zoom in, zoom out, and then strafe left and right with a middle touch going to the full mouse pad. It's feeling really good. This game also does have full controller support, but what I didn't like was like this, where I have the mouse cursor and I can click to target. You lose that when you go all gamepad. And all gamepad by default kind of puts it locked in. Locked in like this, like a... the left stick or pad would be this kind of control. Where I kind of prefer just having free control. And then if I need it, I can just click and drag. Or use the gyro. Yeah, I mean, that's... I just wanted to give this a little, little highlight since I always like to check out the plucky, heartfelt little indie games, and this is definitely one of those. And it's uh, it's early access, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they add to it. Yeah, that's Rings of Saturn. Oh, wait, what's happening? Somebody else. You gonna kill me? Stand clear of my excavation area. Mm. If you stay here, memory of shadow. Might get an accident. Catch my drift, Ringa? That's threatening. Declarative. Back and down. Hmm. Let's see what he what he says. I see no claim here. I see no claim beacon. So what are you going to do about it? Alright, so memory of shadow back down. <laughs> yeah, and you get, you know, interactions like that too, where other, other miners are around and there's pirates around. Like there's somebody else down there. And yeah, and I'll uh, I'll get this the profile uploaded to the community. Definitely a cool little game. So all right, that's all I got. I will see you around.